all my crochet hook into this as well. Maybe this is how you walk the dog. Proper Taiwanese supper. So many goodies. Hi friends, welcome back to my vlog. I hope you're doing well. Um, there's nothing much recently happening to me. I just got back from Calgary Expo and I had a good rest to kind of pick up my pace again. And so far, I'm going to continue create something new. I'm especially focused on my Patreon. Um, speaking of Patreon, I just reached my second goal and I'm very happy about it. And now I just set a new goal and this new goal is 100. When I reach 100 patrons, I'm going to make a secret happy mail and send it to one of the lucky patrons. So far, I have no idea what to um, put into my secret happy mail box, but I will come up with some new ideas about it. For October Patreon, here's a new character. This is Yaya the duck, and Yaya means ducky in Chinese. Actually, this Yaya doesn't come with the hat or the pumpkin. I just make it as a ducky. Um, but because this month is the Halloween month, so I added the witch hat and a little pumpkin to it. And it's so cute, look at it! Oh my god! So yeah, if you're interested, you want to make this yaya you can join my patreon and plus to be my patrons and grab this reward before it's gone yeah yeah so cute yeah. i don't wanna wake up it's three in the morning and everyone's in there He's my walking, you know, companion this morning. It can be tough. I I already feel it's a little bit tough because I kind of have to stop and take pictures with him, and you know, can I really enjoy my walk? But anyway, it's not every day, right? So why not? It's like I think maybe this is how you walk the dog outside if you have a dog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to enjoy my walk. See you in a bit. This is a pack board I got from Ikea and I pick a big one like this is a comparison from my hand It's a big boy I also picked some accessories to go with it but the one I really want it looks like a shelf that it's just out of stock and they have no idea when will it be restocked again I just picked these accessories and also this type we are going to put this onto the board and up to my wall over there. Okay, this is the wall I'm going to put the pack board on. And the reason why I picked this side because it's right next to my working table. So it will really help me to get stuff that I want instead of digging out from everywhere I store them. But yeah, I definitely need more storage. But yeah, actually I organize things really well. I put them away. So in that case, if I really need something, I need to kind of dig them out. For example, this one is another container I bought from Costco, I believe. And every time I need everything from it, I have to move these, these, just to take it out here and then open it right here, take out the stuff I want and then put everything back again. Same idea of my yarn stash. So, oh well, hopefully this open space will help a bit. 
We will see. No wall screws, so we are on our own. Looking for the right screws. Right tool. <laughs> it looks right to me, though. Yeah. markers that I got from IKEA too. I got this about two, three years ago and still using it. And this time when I visit IKEA, they have this new set. So I also grab it because I basically use this every single day for my calendar. And also this is my crochet hook, the home for my crochet hook. Now I can put them into these two as well. So I don't have to can I find them from the box. All my crochet hook into this as well. This is awesome. I love it. But like I mentioned before, when we were at IKEA, they do have a shelf for this pack board, but it's out of stock. Otherwise, it would be really nice to put it right there. Here's the final look of my pack board. I put some little this and that in the little um, cup right here. Here's the erasers and some washi tapes and my markers, more pens, all my hooks right here. And what's this? Oh, here are the foam holders that I bought from the expo from the artist alley. This one is empty. I haven't really made up my mind of what to put into it. So I'll leave it for later. And here are more markers. These are the um, new ones. And up here, I decided to put all my safety eyes in these so it's easy to see. And this is just a normal one. And these are all comes in different colors. So that way I know where to find them when I need one. And it's very easy to use, just like this. It's basically sliding and it's just like that. Yeah, and I also hang my badge here. This is from the Calgary Expo. This is my badge, my pass to get in. So yeah, this is the final look and it looks very, very cute. I love it so much. And yeah, hopefully I can get the shelf yeah. next time. Right. Well, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring or take you. Take you along, take you along to see
some other places We try towards the other horizon Maybe to spend a couple hundred Till we run out, till we run out Till we run out of paper and change I think the best find this time when we went to TNT was this this is the Taiwanese pork sausage is really really good I haven't had this for wow was it 10 years <laughs> oh, wow so when I saw this I was so excited I picked three and I was thinking maybe I can get some when we go back to you know when we visit Edmonton for the Edmonton Expo but sadly it is cancelled so but well I grabbed three so let's go for now and this is what I'm going to make today for supper we are having Taiwanese supper tonight oh I also grabbed the sets of the bowl from IKEA it's so pretty this pattern remind me of the Hakanese culture they have beautiful, be beautiful patterns like this, but I'm not so sure if this is Hakanese. But no matter what, this is very pretty, so I'm going to use it for today for the rice. We'll be alright for two or three days, but after all the conversations have died out, I'll play the music from the beginning, and then we all just see it again. This is today's Taiwanese supper. We, we have Taiwanese cabbage, and this is sweet and sour pork without bones. And this is ginger bacon, ginger teriyaki bacon. And this is just a very yummy broccoli. And this is my favorite, favorite, favorite Taiwanese sausage. You have to go with one slice of garlic and one slice of the sausage and eat it together. That's the traditional way to eat it. Let's eat! Go, 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 Kai. This video is sponsored by Umomo Alberta. Let's go shopping together at Calgary Umomo. As a Japanese lifestyle store, Umomo serves as a one-stop shopping destination, carrying a wide variety of Japanese household supplies, kitchen wares, stationery and crafts, Japanese snacks, beauty products, and traditional Japanese products which are imported from Japanese merchandisers. Oh, so cute! For the sushi lovers, this is my section. Everything you need to make sushi with, these are the best. 
having some different ramen here. Ramen. Yeah. Oh, I heard this one is not bad. Maybe we should try later. I don't know. Ramen spicy. Yeah. That one. Hmm. Tonkatsu. Kitty and look at the sushi ones. Wow! I I want everything. Special thanks to Damon, the store manager of Umemo Calgary, Alberta. He's been very very helpful and very friendly. Thank you for providing me such a good shopping experience. Here are the goodies that I got from Umemo. Let's unbox them together. Okay, let's start from this box we pick these beautiful spoons for ramen the next ones are the ramen bowl look at this it's so pretty and it's really a good size i love the design of this yeah okay. i think we pick another one yes we pick two Here's a comparison. With, so these are for the kids. I picked this one for myself. It's very beautiful. Good size for ramen. I think this one is the same. Yeah. It's two. And the next one will be this. This very cute coffee mug. I love it so much. I think I pick a pair. Yeah, I pick another one. Yes, right here. Oh, these are so cute. And I also picked this one for myself. It's another cup. Just like this. It's a little bit bigger than the normal coffee mug, but I just like the way you look like. The last one is something special. This one is going to be a very special gift that I picked for my followers on Instagram. There will be a giveaway coming up, so if you're interested, you can join my Instagram and stay tuned for the giveaway. This is... Do you know what is this? This beautiful, beautiful ball is a ball for you to make mocha. So I will kind of show you how to use this mocha ball later. Let me just put this away first and let's unbox the next bag. These are the rest goodies I got from Umomo. Here, first of all, I got this little calendar. You can change the month and the dates. I think this is gonna be a very cute display on the table and in my video as well. The next ones are this super cute tempura, onigiri, and gyoza food charm. And I think they are great for backpack, your phone, or your keychain. I know I just have to pick them. They're adorable. And here we also pick some little change purse for coins and these comes in handy so we pick some. These are easy to carry as well because they're tiny. It's good. For the next one we pick some pencil and we pick the 2B and HB because Alyssa sketch a lot and I think these will be great for her for school or for her art. I found this rainbow pencil and I cannot wait to try them these candies oh my god these are do you know this one i'm pretty sure this girl is very popular if you ever been to the japanese store grocery store or if you've been to japan i would say this is one of the best highly recommended it's just milky candy and this one something new to me i'm gonna try it later with my kids this one is something um this one is something new to me i haven't tried this before but you know what? It just looks so yummy. So I have to pick this one. And the last one is very, very special to me. This one is my childhood memories. I remember when I was little, my uncle always got this for me from Japan. And he loves this candy very much. And we kind of share it though. So this definitely brought back lots of memories of my childhood. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna share this with my kid, and I know they are going to love it. I will probably just, you know, go back and pick some more later when we have a chance. And also, I pick these shelves. These shelves 
my look, nothing to you, but these comes in handy in my booth when I do the display and I will show you how am I going to use this at home as well. But it's definitely nothing like this. I didn't I don't buy this for my kitchen. I bought this for my art. So I'll show you later. This one, I also picked this um, whisk machine because I'm going to make some matcha drink later and I think this will come in here. And I also picked this matcha powder scoop and this matcha whisk. So you probably already know that yes, I'm going to make some matcha. That's why I also picked this beautiful matcha tea bowl. Oh my god, look at them. So pretty. I cannot wait to make it. Oh, by the way, do you know how to make matcha? Well, actually, I've been looking for this for a long, long time. And I just keep telling myself that I'm going to pick this at Umomo when I go back. But, you know, when COVID happened, then we cannot really travel anywhere. But this time, I'm very happy. I finally got a chance to pick this. Okay, so here's how you make your matcha drink. First of all, you have to pick some matcha powders. I picked this from Costco, but I believe you can pick this anywhere. You see a whisk right there. So basically, you put your matcha into this bowl and you add some water, hot water in it and kind of use this whisk to whisk it until it's frothy and you're good to go. You can enjoy it. So later, I'm going to use this beautiful matcha tea bowl to make myself some yummy matcha drink. Speaking of the matcha drinks, this set you're looking at right here is sponsored by Umomo. We're going to host a giveaway soon and you can win this set of the matcha tools and the beautiful matcha ball right there. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram for the next updates and hopefully you will win this beautiful set and you can make your very yummy matcha drinks. Okay, since I cannot find the shell from IKEA, I got this from Umomo instead. And this is just a very normal, common kitchenware. But instead of using this in my kitchen, I use it for my pegboard. I just put it on top of my pegboard like this. There's one. And I'll put another one up. Just like that, voila! They can just easily hook on top of my pegboard, and now I can put my dolls in there to display or just put my, you know, work in progress stuff right there. Comes in handy! Yay! Let's make some matcha. Here's the instructions to teach you how to make it. Comes in Japanese and English. Oh, looks like we got everything here. So I'm gonna go for thick tea, which is this one. Let's try some thick tea. I also got this little cue ball from Umomo many years ago.
Well, it looks a little bit lonely out there, but we do have friends over there, so yeah, it's fine. And thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.